it's always best that we use water which is little cooler than the room temperature. Just a certain volume of water to flow over you or to be immersed in a water which is cooler than room temperature. But if you're in a colder country, if you're in a temperate climate, the water may be too cold. That is not good. The water must be, let's say, within five to eight degrees centigrade lower than the room temperature, not more than that. So if you have uh, a tendency to catch cold initially, first couple of weeks, you put a spoon of eucalyptus oil in the water, cold water and pour it over you. You will see your cold will go away, not because of the eucalyptus oil, just because of the cold water. <laughs> if you have an infection and something else where excess mucus is being generated, that needs to be treated differently. But as I said, the water should be just somewhere five to eight degrees below room temperature. If this happens, one thing that happens on the surface is the cells, the epithelial cells will contract. When they contract, they open up all the pores. The pores between the cells will open up. The cells themselves have pores. We don't want that to open. That will open if you put it in warm water. If you put you, dip your body in a hot water tub, the cells will open up and take in water. That is not always a good thing to do. You put the body in cold water, the cells will contract, the in-between spaces will open and that's important for practicing yoga. Because we want the cellular structure of the body to be charged with a different dimension of energy. If the cells contract and it allows space and then you practice your yoga, then the cellular structure in the body is charged. Why one person seems to be far more alive than the other is essentially because of this. And once your cellular structure is charged with energy, it will remain youthful for a very, very long time. When people are thinking, why the old bugger is still not dead, you still feeling like you're twenty-five. 